On March 11th, 2019, Path of Exile announced a new stash tab to be added, the Unique tab. This allows you to store and showcase one copy of every unique in-game. When I read that, I knew what I had to do. I've set off to obtain every unique in-game in the solo self-found game mode, filling the Unique stash tab completely. This shit will take a long ass time and won't be easy, but I'm always down for a grind. I'm Matt Lady, and this is All For One. No one's helping anyone today. I faced death before. The syndicate is not. There could be no simpler experience. Wow, that's actually a really good drop. That's a really good drop. Yeah. Well, we can make a presence of Chula now. That's good to know. I don't even have enough uh, catalyst to catalyze it, but that's uh, that's a free presence of Chula for me. Wow. All right. Um, that's kind of interesting. I've got a Hyrie's upgrade again. It's a very, very easy boss fight to do versus like anything else. I'm not sure why they made her so easy. The tier four bosses are way harder than she is. Like the cat's a thousand times harder. Bro, give me the fucking gloves. Oh my god, I can't wait. Show me the gloves. Show me. No. Not the staff. <laughs> not the staff. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I think it's I think it's worth it to lose the ability to white socket. Because at this point it's kind of like a dead a dead trade-off for me. I'd much rather have the random unique stuff. We're doing it. Goodbye, Vrichi. Hello, Elrion. And Elrion has way more relationships than anyone else, so I will accept that trade. Alright, what are we gonna get? Come on, awaken gem. Come on. Oh, alright. Fine, I shall wait. Come on, Gem. Come on. Not so much. Whoa, we got a mini node. How do I get there? <laughs> also, I guessed wrong, but how do I get there? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's already a nope. Oh, fuck. Oh. That's it. There we go. I just six bone helmet, number one. Let's uh, see if we can get more. Because I might not hit it on my first... My first one. My, my first influence slam might not be the uh, shape or elder one I need. Can you make an elder influence for those bone helmets? Yeah, we're going to try right now. It's uh, I can slam influence. And we're just going to hope one of them... As long as one of them hits either shaper or elder, it's the same thing since it's going to be awake and armed. Add a random influence to an armor. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what? That's brutal. It's brutal. Fuck. Back to Phantasmagoria we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Stop happening. Look at the pile. Look at the pile. Okay. All right. Let's do the jewelry first. My fucking shit. Cut. Oh. oh no, it's happening. Is it happening? <laughs> Is it happening again? No, don't happen again. Don't happen again, baby. Oh, God. Fucking what? <laughs> Man. That's crazy. That's crazy. I I cannot hit a body. You can do it through just Windows if you want. Or download... Oh. 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 So, let's see if we... You saw the bow, the amazing bow we crafted. Um, I have a bunch of these Reforged Rare Keep All Suffixes. Uh, all my bow mods are suffixes, so let's see if we can actually... Um, I don't know, craft, it, uh, craft something cool on it. Pretty much just seeing if I can hit tier 1 cold. That's Legally, there's cold damage. Pen Chaos, okay. The wrong pen, who's almost insane, but not quite. Wrong cold yet again. Fire damage. Oh, 
Oh my god, what did I do? Oh my god, what did I do? Oh, I'm gonna fucking cry. What did I do? What the fuck did I click? Oh my god, this is the biggest fuck up in my entire life. Hold on. Can I... Oh my god, this is catastrophic. Can I can't use the imprint on it, can I? Oh, thank god. Oh my fucking god, I kept the imprint. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. Oh my god. My heart. My fucking heart. <sighs> I gotta watch that back. What the fuck did I do? Reforge your rare, keeping all suffixes. What happened? What did I do? What the fuck did I click? Which one did I do? I'm so curious now. Oh, I did the prefix one. Oh my god, I was on fucking autopilot. Look at me do it. This is a PSA, everybody. Fucking wake the fuck up and pay attention when you use your Horde Crafters. Because if I didn't keep that imprint, this could have been catastrophic. If I didn't keep that imprint, this could have been so catastrophic. I mean, I kept the imprint. We're fine. Um... I have plenty of, I got more imprints and I could, you know, clean it up, no problem, and add crit back on. But that, that could have been catastrophic if I lost that plus two arrows. Let's make a new imprint. <laughs> Let's make a new imprint. We are, man. Oh, keep, the, hold on to that imprint like it's your fucking newborn child. So that is, that is, yeah, that is, holy shit. Alive. I am alive. I'm a savage. Classic. Bougie. What's happening? Come on, sirs. Come on, sirs. Okay. Come on, sirs. Trash. Yeah. Goodbye, friends. You've lived well. <laughs> The short, short lived life, all of a minute. All right, so we're tossing a synthesis mod on our wands. Um, because why not? It is essentially complete as is. And that's that. <laughs> it's full prefix suffix. I don't think I use another one this rest of the league. This will we'll have to do. Yep, hopefully, get something good. All right. Int and local cold damage. <laughs> well, uh, sure. All right. Yellows, what do you got? All garbage. Oh. Wait, isn't dedication the rare one? Dedication of the goddess. It is. Yes. Nice. Oh, man. I have not had this yet. This is my first dedications. Wow. Took so long to fucking get. Okay. Let's not fuck up the beam here. We're good. Successful beam. Successful beam. Gives us two socket gloves. One socket glove. Okay. Oof, I'll take gloves though. That's what I wanted. I actually wanted to get gloves. Nah, I always wanted rings, but for the series, I would like to get gloves in this league, just in case. Oh, alright, we're doing another lich, I guess. Let's go back to back liches, let's go. Mine cage. Single socket. Alright. Worthless. Worthless drops. Worthless drops. Alright, it's the last of any sort of remotely useful div cards here. <laughs> I mean, that works out pretty well for me. Alright, I've got a research safe house. So, we can upgrade a Chula and upgrade something else. And hope I can rotate that something else into Escher Chula again. 
It was not a lord before. God helps even the most domain. nauseatingly ugly of creatures. Yada yada yada. No bargain. No bargain? What am I doing? Come on. Give me the choir. Give me. Nope. I totally forgot I even had this fucking prophecy active, but it just just happened somewhere. There's the aesthetic. Sweet, sweet. Aesthetic. Which is exactly how it's pronounced, which is the poor man's biscos from uh, Ambitious Bandits 3. If I don't get an Awakened Gem from this Drox and the subsequent Ceres kill, that is 20 Conquerors and Forcers that receiving an Awakened Gem, which is... I feel like it's not great, but, you know. There's Leash of Oblation. Uh, have an offering of each type. Offerings have reduced duration and reduced effect. It's kind of a thing. I don't really know what use I'll have for it. Probably none, but sure. It's kind of a cool thing. I guess you could have like th all three offerings in your wand triggering, but I think you're running out of corpses probably. I don't know if it's even that good to be worth it. I am alive. Feel the goodies coming. Oh, I was deceived. Well, I've got a couple pale court sets and I'm technically still missing something, so I'll just do those. Who? Hello. Dares. Okay, it's good. Uh, Alan, do you have faith? Uh, forever faith. An right. army of it, if you will. Good. good, good. I, I'm missing a unique. It is the only unique I'm missing for the, the largest league in all of Path of Exile. Oh, shit. I've got an unID'd item in my inventory that could technically oh, be that thing. Oh, shit. So it's got to be... Happening. It's got gloves, and it has to be the cold gloves. Yeah, but I'm going to have to ask you to ID that in the most dangerous part of the game. Oh, <sighs> just yeah. understood. I know exactly yep. where to go. Perfect. I'm off to Tane's laboratory. Sure. Sounds Land of... Where you, the land where uniques have always disappointed me. <laughs> Perfect. I will go into the corner where I belong. Which one do I want again? I need the cold one. If I get the cold one, okay. I finish all of prophecy. Mm, stream your screen. It is the cold one. Are you serious? Yeah. We're, <laughs> what? We're done. All right, prophecy complete. <laughs> there Amazing. You go. Easy peasy. Holy that shit. It is the largest league in Path of Exile now completed. Congrats. We've done it. I'm going to foul all the items now and ruin them. <laughs> Good. This is my uh, fifth attempt at getting the helmet base for Mask of the Spirit Drinker, of which I need two, of course. One for the All for One collection, patent pending. And uh, second one is for my enemy guardian. So, really hoping I get this one at least, and then I need a second one. And then I need to sacrifice three rooms. So, fucking fingers crossed. Nope. Wow. Little update at a 556 delve. I don't know what Time Lost Cavern is, but it's one of the rare fossils for sure. So I'm going to have to go get that. And the only way we're going to get it is from here to there. So let's go across and grab that bad boy. My chance orb. No, my chance orb. So one of the biggest hurdles this league for me after they introduced 20 uniques was the Harbinger ones. And the way that you obtain the Harbinger uniques is by basically sacrificing Harbinger fragments like I'm about to drop in two seconds here. Pank. And belt piece, fantastic. Just exactly what I wanted. And you put the harbinger fragment, the these little like pieces to the puzzle and the device, and then it shits out a random map, ideally infused, it's either white, yellow, red, or infused. Infused is the ones that get the highest tier of harb the beachheads, and that's what gets you the uh, the cool new shit. Um, so pretty much you can, as long as you have the craft, you just go infinite on beachheads, except if you want to keep the actual uniques for use. The only ones I want to keep for use is the belt. And I only want to keep one belt because that's the only thing I actually need or want in this entire upgraded Harbinger path is the belt. I can upgrade everything else after League. It doesn't, it doesn't make it any easier or harder for me. So once I get the actual upgrade pieces, which are a guaranteed drop rate of one off of each infused beachhead, then I could, you know, just upgrade them in standard and progress the series that way. Now the issue is that I can obviously get duplicates. There's about, I think, seven different types. Each one's guaranteed, so sure I can go one in seven, but... Odds are I'm going to be able to go 1 in 30, so we'll try to get as many as we can, get the best shot as we can, and uh, yeah, get about a craft or two a week, so if I can get a infused a week, I'd be impressed. So. 
All right, first shekel going in gets me a red beachhead. All right, so a white beachhead turned into a red beach. Second piece becomes a infused. Nice. All right, so we got an infused. Now, the reason I think it got infused, I don't know if there's actually any rhyme or reason. I think it's every fragment just like a one in five chance of it happening. But I will say that every single time I put in a staff or a shield, I've gotten infused because I think staff, shield, and helm are considered the highest tier pieces because at least maybe my logic is that they can't drop off of white maps so maybe that's the reasoning but like i said essentially i'm just going infinite again so, so I've, I've spoken about this before but i'll just talk about it one more time really briefly for um i do uh, to get my item bases i put on unique watchstones there's three different unique watchstones you actually want to use to get uh i or tier 19 maps or i86 zones i'm currently at i85 because i actually haven't gotten the one unique watchstone but um, the ones you want are, what is it, uh, where the fuck, Terror, uh, Misinformation, and the last one's called Stalwart Defenders. The other two I normally use are either Blooming Populous for just pack size or, or Among the Stars for additional packs in the form of Elder and Shaper mobs. This gives you an I, uh, I-86 zone, which means that you'll get to be able to get the max bases for all your crafting needs. I do this to pick up things like bone helmets, like the special desired mods for the Atlas ones, um, or, you know, steel rings, whatever, grip gloves, whatever you want. Also, two tones, then all the ES bases like Val Regalia, Sword Clubs. Pretty much get a. I'll do this probably once or twice a league to get like. Um, I'll do like three three sets of three maps, so nine maps in total gets pretty much all the uh, base items I need. After that, you'd be hunting specialty items. If you're like hunting stuff like Bone Helmet, I've had to get nine because I keep missing on the uh, specific one I want. I keep trying to get a Shaper Elder one and I keep whiffing on that. Um, the maps are extremely good experience, obviously, because they're super high level, but they're obviously way more rippy, so just be careful when doing them because of that. You want to just be really careful because a lot of uh, spooky things can kill you in this map. Especially when you have Beyond on, but you'll get the better results for getting your items. Again, experience, but uh, in a risk-reward type situation. Just be careful with your Animate Guardian, because uh, you'll eat shit and die. But, I mean, the experience oh, is insane. The drops are insane for doing Tier 19 maps, especially if you're doing these in scenarios like we we're trying to force out um, you know, tier 19 delirious maps, 100% delirious maps. Super, super good experience that way. But again, risk reward. Be careful if your build can't handle it. Don't pretend like your build can because you'll get rocked. So I come pretty close to losing a lot of my zombies when I do this. Uh, granted, I am using Flesh Crafter, so they don't have life regen. They don't have life leash like they normally have, but they do have a fat ES shield. Welcome. Either way, it's a really good method to obtain all your bases Thanks. you need. Uh, I do this, especially in this league, when the crafting is so prevalent. Get you all the bases you want. So, you know, get your two tones, get your regalios, get your uh, all your ES bases, your tits, your fucking stygians. You know, the second you have an abyss, it's going to be plus one zones. So you actually have a tier 20 abyss area, which is kind of spooky. I actually did a tier 20 lich a couple days ago, and it is um, terrifying. So, once you get your bases, you really don't have to ever do these again. Um, and especially in Solo Cell Fund, I don't really think it's worthwhile to do plus zone areas for the most part. Because... It's the amount of experience you get is like, what if it's like 10 or 20% more experience versus you doing a regular map. It's just, I don't really get like getting accustomed to that level of experience. It's so easy to get to a 97, 98, even 100 by just running tier 14s and 15s and 16s. That I feel like tier 19s and 20s is like kind of not needed and not really worth the, the death. But yeah, great for getting your bases. Great for making your prismatic rings and all your other crafting shenanigans. So that was three juiced tier... Tira, whatever, uh, would have been eighteens. Um, hunting for bone helmets was the was the plan, and you really do. I've done this. This is my third set of these. Pretty consistent. You'll get at least one to two bone helmets on average per map, uh, and that's like with the sample size of again nine maps. So that session of three maps landed me five bone helmets, which is pretty common. Previous session got four previous one got three so again it's like between one and one like 1. 1.5 um for things like this same with two tones same with marbles same with any other specialty based the ones i haven't been able to hunt steel rings steel rings seem quite elusive for some reason um not sure if they're just innately more rare but they seem quite elusive here's the list for the drop location based on atlas regions so you just kind of focus on the right side and if you're looking for bone helmets you're going to go to lyra you know you can just pretty much figure out which areas go where you can either just pause the screen or just look up uh, Atlas of Worlds, um, the locations on the wiki. So the next thing I want to hunt, I think I've got pretty much everything I need now, except I don't have any fingerless gloves. I don't have any gripped um, grip gloves and spike gloves. I haven't really messed with making gloves this league. I've pretty much made everything this league in some way, shape or form, either a five or 61 version, except for gloves. 
So I'm going to start doing gloves. I haven't really touched short gloves either. So I think gloves are my next project that I'm going to work towards. Also, if you are going to run your uh, tier 19 or 18 maps, Super Juice, don't forget, if you have Temple on, your Temple will also be ID5 or ID6. So just uh, be worried because that, that Roomba I'm gonna fucking claps cheeks when it's high level. Well, we got an heirloom vessel in the, my mysterious hall of mystery that is the Museum of Artifacts. So something good's gonna drop. Okay. My heart can't handle the fact that if I get a second headhunter, I'm gonna get my ass railed by Reddit, so I'm just gonna not have that happen. More important than a headhunter, this is my another attempt at getting the helmet. Oh my god, finally. Oh fuck. Alright, one down, one to go. There's a Mask of the Spirit Drinker, which in itself, worthless. Totally worthless, but one step closer. I have two vials, one mask. Just gotta get some, uh, Sacrifice rooms upgrade these bad boys. Got another one of those uh, vile temples. I mean, my vile temple is a temple so bad. There's only one good room. That's essentially just a rush for the end to get a vile, AKA a vile temple. Didn't get my sec three, but I do have a sec two, which lets me do one very cathartic thing, which is sending a Cerberus limb into the shadow realm. Honestly, it's probably an upgrade. Do we get the gloves? We do not. So for those who don't know, uh, the end people are always ghosted, the boss in each room, if you have a Sadish 3. So anytime there's at least a level 1 or plus room, you'll have a Temple Guardian guy in it. And if you have a Sadish 3, then they all have a ghost built in, like Possessed Foe. I've never seen um, a certain ghost. It goes by the name of Smugglers. But let me know in the comments if any of you guys have actually ever seen a Smugglers from Sadist 3. I have never seen one. I've seen um, embezzlers a lot for just currency. I've even seen the fishing ghost. Never seen the smugglers. This marks 25, or no, five serious rotation of conquerors without an awakened gem. So, curse is legally broken, <laughs> although that is a dupe, unfortunately. Uh, damn, couldn't even have been added, added cold, the one actually one I'm missing. I have every awakened gem, but I have a cold now for the series. Not that I need Awakened Gems for the series in the first place, but I really would like to get every Awakened Gem before Cirrus rotates out as far as the expansion. I think he'll be around until Path 2, unless they decide to push Path 2 and make a new map expansion system. I expect at least another one or two leagues with the Cirrus system, so I just, got, I, wanted, I just want to at least get all the big ones until this is done, but yeah, there's another wet. We can add Lightning, unfortunately, so let's go do Cirrus. Maybe he'll give me a the better awakened chimp. What are we gonna get? Oh, it's a maze face. Oh fuck, where the fuck is the my god? Alright, and nope, didn't get it. Another helmet. Another dead run effectively. I've done uh, seven temples today. This is a lot of a lot of that's a waddle in one day for me. And I have one more left, and this is the last one. And as you can see, if I just hit the Sanctum 3 here, I will get a Catalyst 3, a Torture 3, and the Hall of Offering 3. Ending my night in a fantastic way. 1 and 11. Can I hit the nut? I didn't, but I hit the most important one. Which means we will be getting our Mask of the Stitch Demon. Do I get my Slave Driver Glove things? I do. Alright, cool. So, next... Uh, not bad. Next time... Oh, actually, not really that bad. High mana, great multi. Okay, I'm gonna keep that one. Next time I get a sacrifice apex room, we can make slave driver gloves in the league, which would be kind of cool. Okay, time to make the best animate guardian helm in the game. So we have the mask of the spirit drinker, pretty benign in its base form. Plonk that in, put in our vial of summoning, and that gives us mask of the stitched demon. Oh. <laughs> Very, very fucking sick. So this bad boy is a Armor ES helm that has a decent amount of int and it has a, a bevy of various stats. Those stats are um, your strength gives you no life. Your int gives you no mana. You get max life per int. You can't gain ES. But then you regen one life per 500 ES you have and your ES starts at zero. Long story short, this makes it so your enemy guardian has a fuck ton of 
uh, life regen. I'm just saying, how? How does your anime guardian have the amount of ES to grant it that amount of life regen? Well, my chest fucks it up, so it doesn't really work for this chest because it, you know, it'll have X amount of life converted, so it actually has no life to begin with. But an anime guardian in a standard build has roughly, we'll say, after scaling 40,000 life. Now, you have nodes in the tree, such as Grave Intentions, which is 10% of life as ES, or a crafted node that you could plonk on their chest that does a similar thing. That means 10% of your 40,000, which in this case we'll say is 4,000, is converted into ES, and you have that, or well, I guess you take it by 500, so 40,000 divided by 10, divide that by 500, equals 8% life regen. But 8% life regen in a helmet is disgusting, so... This basically makes this your animic guardian is effectively invincible. Oshabi oh, Bubby. Hopefully we can get our gloves. If we get our gloves, we're actually done with Oshabi. Oh, <laughs> we are done with everything in Harvest Behold, if we get our gloves. Outside of the beachhead shenanigans, cast. which is really just some bullshit. But hoping we get it if we can finish Oshabi. Oh, Come on, gloves, 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 fuck. But Fortune Blossom. If I want to get a dupe, I want it to be the helm. Because the helm is the meme. And I am all for the meme helm. So, the helm is, again... I, I really can't think of a scenario where it's really that good. Because it gives you two two supported gems that are going to be up to level... Between level 15 and 25. But if you were to divine them to try to get them to a higher level, like from 15 to 25, it rolls the gems. So it's a total crapshoot either way. Maybe in Trade League, just a perfect combination. Some of the best ones I can think of are, like, added lightning, innervate hypothermia, added cold. The things that really scale off of flat damage, but... Aside from that, it's kind of a shit show, so. Uh, urgent Orders, Deadly Elements. I don't remember what the fuck Urgent Orders is, but I think it has something to do with War Cries. Urgent Orders. Yeah. Increased War Cry speed. So, you know, 23 Deadly Elements. That's cool. Urgent Orders. Not so much. <laughs> yeah, it was about 4 to 5% per run, so. You know, I mean, that'll, that'll, that'll get me pretty fucking close at least. Assuming I don't die at Sheila, which I really shouldn't die at Sheila, because I think she'll... Probably he'll die really quickly, I think. Normally. I'm not negative chaos for us, so I think we're probably okay there. Simple robe. Very good colors, though. Alright. Very good colors. Hopefully uh, our next one's a little bit better. Maybe get a jewel. Jalula number deuce. Number two. Hoping for jewels. Everything else is kind of poop except for jewels. Oh. 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 It's not bad, jewel. Green dream. Oh, green dream. Nice. All right. That's a lot better, Jewel, now. <laughs> you can hear my smile. Um, yeah, green dream has gotten a lot better now. So I'm literally just missing the green dream. Bam. And now I just need the blue dream. And I'm 100% done with breach. Cholula number trace. Three Cholulas. Hoping for a blue dream so I can literally just finish breach tonight like a goddamn god. Another simple robe. But also good colors. Two, two, two. Respectable colors. Pretty much you just want a good amount of blue and green. Red is the devil. Last Cholula. Didn't quite get to uh, as high as I was hoping. Only about 93% experience, but can still get the uh, the old blue dream and finish off Reach right now. Nope. But again, good simple robe colors. Not that I don't know what the fuck I'm going to use them for, but i going to do my three red beachheads for my last uh, 7%. Yet again, I've underestimated my experience thresholds. <laughs> And uh, three beachheads was not enough beachheads, but I'm going to convert my pieces up. Hopefully I get some infused. If not, I'll run whatever I get. First piece, infused. Fantastic. Best case scenario. Second piece, yellow beachhead. Not good. <laughs> Third piece, infused. Fantastic. All right, let's go run the yellow beachhead. All right, there's the yellow map done, and we get back to red map. Let's go run that shit. And, yep, there we go, double 98. All right, there's all the pressure off for the next week and a half. All right, so that's my last jewel socket now. Boop. Puts me at 5.4k life, so I gained about, what, 800 life. Um, didn't really lose any damage. So I have now, from that swap, gained life. Um, gained a little bit of mana. And gained one, two, three jewel sockets. And I still have the option down the road... For once I receive my large cluster, that's a passive, I could add a new cluster setup by swapping all this shit out, moving it up there. 
I'll only lose one jewel socket. I'll lose a lot of life, but I'll gain a metric cuck ton of damage. So I think that'll be a worthwhile swap down the road. All right, that's, I'm not going to do that tonight. Uh, this is pretty much the end of the video. So for a quick little wrap up, last episode we had this end screen. I did a really shitty fucking mock up of it, which was like, uh, you know, this is an update of the characters. But since then... I made a, a nicer one that I really just tacked on to the already existing Google document. So why make a whole new system when I can just make a new tab of the Google document? So let me show you what that's all about real quick. Boop. So you're all pretty familiar with the Google Doc as it stands. It has two different tabs previously. One of them is the Elite Exclusives with all the new things I've received. Other one's Boss and Base Game Uniques, which is, you know, again, you guys know about. I added a new tab called Goals and Projects. This is a, a very basic mock-up. It's mostly just information, not a lot of flash at the moment. And it has um, standard goals, harvest goals, harvest character progress, and harvest crafting projects. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to add to this as we go. I'm going to add more hyperlinks so it's a lot easier for you guys who are maybe newer players to know what I'm talking about. For example, um, I said need Choir of the Storms. You may not know what Choir of the Storms is, so that I'll add a hyperlink for it. But again, it's basic information. So here's an example of my Necromancer, which you've seen. These are the things I need. An Awakened Arm to create a new helmet. Um, I need a plus one body, the six link and crafted, I need a scroll upgrade for Harbinger Belt, that sort of stuff. Really want to wake in Forker Chain, fingers crossed. I have hyperlinks to a website called PB Profile. Not a lot of people know about this website, some people use it, but it, it's a pretty nice little infograph display of a lot of your um, stuff and games for characters, and they have individual links for characters. So it'll show, for example, here's my Necromancer level 98, and it actually updates in real, real, real time. So it shows, um, yeah, my, even my Delve Depth, which I actually think rank 14 or something at the moment, we're pretty deep, we're pretty good. But it shows my gear upgrades and all that jazz. I just hit 98 and it even upgraded that fast. It shows my tree swaps, it shows what flasks I'm using, my jewel setups, my link setups, so it's a pretty nice little infographic website. So this is where my stuff's going to be. You can see in standard goals, it's just clear off remaining active Delve bosses, harvest goals, obtain all harvest uniques, harbinger uniques, make a 100% delirious map for fracture fossil duping, level up something that's not a Templar to 100, get my portal effect for my uh, thing, and then the breakdown of all the stuff. So if there's any information you'd like to see that isn't on here, let me know. And if it's not stupid, I'll add it. If it is stupid, I'll probably ignore it. As always, I am Matt Lighty. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys live on stream. And if not, I will catch you around in things. Goodbye. Bloody up. Frog slaps untasty bug away. Come on. Give him the goods. Give him the fucking yeah yeet. Oh boy. It's a website called The Frog Doctor. Oh, that guy looks trustworthy. The Frog Doctor is... I'm no expert. That's what I like to hear in my doctor. Selecting your frogs. Transporting your frogs. Quarantining your frogs. Does your frog have red leg or fungal infection? There's a whole essay on red leg. I have a short essay. Oh, frog land. All things frogs. Frogs in the news. Lego frog dissection. Fat fucking frog. Stupid frog joke of the day. What does a frog say when it sees something great? Totally awesome. Where's the noose? Froggy fun and games. It's raining frogs. Click. What's the game? What? But what's the game? I don't understand. That's just fun? It's just fun, I guess. Frog maze. Okay. I'm good. Froggy tic-tac-toe. Click. He went there. All right. It's almost as if I've won. Congratulations. There are 12 pairs of froggies hidden on this board. I don't even see a board. Frog checkers. Click, click. First click on the piece. Oh, I'm up top. Sorry. Click, click. Man, frog checkers is... Some would say the best checkers. Whoa, look at the... <laughs> He's become a king toad. That's right, I can't move backwards in checkers. I am getting my shit pushed in by this fucking frogs. Holy shit, he's comboing me. This is a goddamn massacre. Oh my god, we're down to a lone frog. That's just game over. No, I just got my fucking shit pushed in. Well, I feel like I've experienced something today.